Oh, it's an honor. You know, two two excellent leagues, the best two teams in each league facing off in a state title game. Uh, great atmosphere out here today. It was a really great game, and, and just proud of our kids and our program with the way we just kept fighting back, you know, all season long, and, and then finished it today. I mean, 60-yard field goal, is that something on your agenda? Yeah, you know, Michael Tarbett's a Division One kicker for a reason. He's a fantastic weapon, and, and, you know, in high school, it's a touchback if you miss. So, you know, we, we thought he had a chance at it, and the ball hit the crossbar and bounced over, so it was a great catch. How much did that change from a to get you guys going? Because you guys were kind of... Oh, sure. You know, we uh, we had a bad kind of punt there where we misplayed a punt, and they, they buried us on our one-yard line, and then we had the safety that was, you know, it was tough. So, I think getting that field goal was big for momentum just to get us back in the swing of things. And, you know, they're a very good football team. They're very tough on defense. You know, they made us work for it offensively today, so uh, we pretty much figured it would be that type of defensive battle. Just talk about the special teams getting the job done with oh, really the two blocks. You know, Co- Coach Coach Bryce Hopkins does an outstanding job with our special teams. He puts a lot of time and work into it, and uh, they were great today, you know, and he was saying all week that we thought we'd have some opportunities on special teams to make some plays, and, and you know, today we did, and in a, in a game where both teams are so good and, and close uh, from a competitive nature, special teams, you know, really plays a factor. Offense is, offense is kind of slow in the uh, first yeah, but you know you have to get locks going. I mean, he has a 50% completion rate, and he runs a lot, Yeah, you did get him going. No, Jake's a great player, and, you know, he just had to settle in, and once he did, you know, he, he got it done for us. And, again, that is a very good football team. They're very big up front. They're very fast. They're very well coached defensively. So that presents a lot of problems. And, again, you know, missing two of our best players, um, you know, really affected us, especially James Thomas up on the offensive line, you know. So the kids that stepped in did a great job, and, and end of the day, we got it done. Who was the other player missing? Brad Zaffel. Our, our starting inside linebacker. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, just what I mean, just was this mean? We, you guys have won, gone unbeaten before, but never with a state title to show for. Yeah, I just it was just an extra level. I mean, our league is tough, and we love winning Monsignor Martin championships. That's our goal every year. But now that this is a game that exists, this is our goal too. You know, coming into this year to get down here uh, to represent Buffalo and our city and our league, and and I think we did that today. I mean, kind of the undisputed champ. You beat the. Me beat Jamestown, which won a state title. I mean, just talk, and just talk about that's, finishing you know, That's one. really why I'm so proud of our kids and our program. You know, I'm always a humble guy, but, you know, today we're absolutely the best team in New York State. You know, there's no doubt about it. You beat Stepanak, you beat Aquinas, you beat Jamestown, you beat all the teams in our league, you beat three teams from Ohio. This is a special group, special group. We couldn't be prouder of our kids and our coaches. And talk about, I mean, it almost, they almost took it. Just talk about Mitch. Tracking, tracking Coleman down, bringing him down. No, I mean, 12's a great player. We knew it coming in. Any any young man who's going to Annapolis, you know he's a great leader, a good athlete, and a smart kid. So he made a great play there. And, you know, Mitch Mitch has no quit. You know, he, he was tired. He plays both ways for us. But yet he was still able to run that kid down and kind of save the day for us. And then, you know, the defense went back in and held him down. And I say, and the Sweetleys plays there once again. I mean, just like I said, you know, Miguel, when I was asked this week, guys like T.J. Wheatley, uh, Josh Huffman, um, Jerome Brundage, Solomon Renfro, without James and, and Brad in there, we knew other kids would have to step up and do the job. And, and again, couldn't be prouder of those guys because they did what they needed to do. And then Tarba, I mean, I know he's a traditional one kicker, but still, I mean, I mean 60 yards and then... You know, 60 yarder on a windy day, you know, down here. That's a, that's a great kick, and uh, you know, the ball hit the crossbar, and it's got some white paint on it. So we gave it to Michael. That'll be something he'll probably put in his trophy case and remember forever. All right. Thanks. Yeah, thanks All right,